But it's easy to end up spending more than you planned when you're at the grocery store. Absolutely. This morning, we're exposing three common tricks stores use to boost their sales. Joel Nichols joins us with the info that will help save you some money. How do they get me to keep going back? We go back like every weekend. We I go know. back four or five times. I don't understand what we're doing. <laughs> all right. All right. Here's the first thing. Do you stop for all the free samples? Yes. Well, here's why you might want to dodge them. According to Consumer Reports, people who stop and snack are five times more likely to make an impulse buy. Often free sample products cost a little more, too, so there's one thing. Consumer Reports also recommends staying away from anything with a cartoon character on the box. A study found brand trust was 16% higher when the character on the box appears to be directly looking at shoppers. Keep that in mind when you pick up that box of Frosted Flakes. Tony the Tiger is not to be trusted. And finally, stay away from coupons for sugary snacks. Unless it's a product you normally buy, picking up the snacks that are on sale can quickly bust your budget, not to mention your waistline. So be careful about all of that. And when all our kids were home, we used to go to uh, like one of those Sam's Club's places and you'd buy the gigantic things of uh, goldfish. Yeah. Expecting them to last forever. They'd last like one day. The kids just fall <laughs> so Now you gotta be careful of that, and you know, watch out for the trick. Uh, the tricks rabbit, uh, apparently, also a problem. Got to do one of these in the aisle, Joel. Try right. it. Go. It's just like this.